This is Code.org. I'm working on CS Principles Unit 5 Building Apps Lesson 9 If Else If and Conditional Logic Part 7 Debug Conditionals. Help! I was trying to give the player a hint when their guess was within two of the secret code of the secret number, but the code I wrote isn't working. Can you fix it? I guess we'll find out. Let's see. Is it what's their so right now their secret number is six? Guess close. Guess higher but close. Oh, yikes. Yeah, four is not higher than six. This picture shows what the message should be based on the difference between the secret number the player guessed. Oh, guess higher. No, that worked. Oh, nine is definitely not lower. Got it. Run the code. Yep. The maj the majority of the problem. Oh, yeah, those are flipped. The major problem here is the conditional statements run in order from top to bottom. Remember, you have to check the smallest, most narrow case first and work from there. Yeah, that, yes. <laughs> Uh, the conditionals might be slightly non-intuitive at first glance. If you want to rearrange the conditionals, it might be easier to switch to text. Okay. So, let's go with broadest first, right? What's going to be the most common scenario? I'm going to add some down here just so I can move the code around easier. I'm going to put this down here for now. It might not stay there, but I'm putting that down there. Now, what's the most likely scenario? Let's say my number is 6. Well. The most likely scenario, if someone is just randomly guessing, is that they are going to be above or below that number, right? There's a whole bunch, how many numbers are above six? That's an impossible thing. So let's start with the most likely scenario. Now we're going to add two to the number. So it's going to be my number plus two because we want to make sure that it's not just above six, if that's our number, but it is more than two above six because if it's only within one of six or two of six we want to tell them they're close so this would mean they're not close i'm going to drag it up here right the guess is at least two above my number and my number is my secret number and if that's the case let's tell them to guess lower they're not even close now what's the opposite that's going to be not even close well if it's six and pretend they can guess negatives okay they could guess negative 7,153, right? More, most numbers are not within the range of 2 of 6. So now let's check below 6 and subtract 2, because if they're within 2, if they guess 4, we want to tell them they're close. But if they guess 1, they're not close. So let's check that next and tell them, hey, guess higher. All right. Now let's narrow this a bit. If they're not within, if they are not more than two away, if they're not greater than two or less than two, they're either getting this number correct or they are within two spots of it. So now let's check if it is higher or lower than our number. And we can just say the number at this point because if it was more than two, let's say the number was 17, we ran this part of the code and everything below it was skipped because only one section of your if statement will run. Okay. And that's why seven or say our number was one and the actual number is six. So our guess was one. Um, we can say guess less than number because even though one is less than number, one's never going to get here because one is less than my number minus two. So this runs and it doesn't run anything else below it. Right? So we don't have to worry about the user being told they are close when they're not. So now we're going to check if it's less than the number and if it's greater than the number, because that would mean they're within two either way. And then finally, if all of those are false, well, then by default, it must be true. The only thing left are they're not two away. They're not way, uh, their guess isn't randomly far away. It must be true. Let's test it out. Guess four. And remember, our number six, higher but close. Let's guess six. You went, oh, it is six. 
7. Guess lower but close. 8 should say the same. And then 10 should say guess lower. Yep. Awesome. This one is super tricky. Um, wow, that was confusing. Yeah. Wow, that's confusing. I'm going to go ahead and post mine in the description. So if you want to check mine out, um, make sure you're not just copying mine. That is cheating. But I want you to be able to see it. These conditional operators can be tricky, but they're super important. And we're going to be able to build really awesome stuff with them as we go. So great. Let's keep going.